Recalling your high school experiences, imagine that instead of watching a video or listening to a classroom lecture about these concepts, you joined a small group of your classmates around a Bunsen burner, a tube of media containing a small plastic bead, and a petri dish covered with fluorescent colonies of a harmless bacteria. This program is called Evolution in Action. Previously at Winnicott at High School, Honors Biology students were able to experience this learning opportunity with the help of Dr. Ron Cooper from the University of Pittsburgh, as well as other microbiologists. However, in order to continue this program annually, Winnicott set out to create a method of implementation that would no longer require help from the university. Matthew Long, a junior at Winnicott High School, decided to take on this challenge through a project-based learning ELO, or Extended Learning Opportunity and was able to successfully redesign and carry out the Evolution in Action program for the current biology honors student, with help from his teachers Mike Handwork and Shani Scarponi. In order to begin this program with the students, your teacher instructs you to place an inoculating loop in the lit flame of the burner. Wait until it turns red hot and then touch it to the agar in the petri dish, listening for a sizzle. Then, you touch the loop to a slimy edge of the colony and then quickly swirl the loop in the media tube. You place the tube in the incubator and you wait until the next day. Overnight, the millions of cells you just added to your tube will grow to become billions. And then tomorrow, you'll take the cells that happen to attach to the plastic bead and move them to a new tube. After a few days, you'll notice that your tube looks different. And when you dilute your culture and spread a droplet on an agar plate, the colonies may look different. This approach not only demonstrates that evolution is a tangible process that happens in real time, but also provides practical laboratory experience and knowledge of fundamental concepts in microbiology, ecology, genetics, and physiology. Authentic research experiences that include a wet bench laboratory component can simultaneously improve comprehension of multiple scientific disciplines and attract students to pursue science, technology, engineering, and mathematics or STEM careers. The ELO that Matt has taken part in has allowed for current and future biology students to experience a new way to learn about evolution. He was not only able to help students learn, but he was able to gain a deeper knowledge of evolution and other aspects of biology. Winnicunnet would also like to thank the Cooper Lab at the University of Pittsburgh School of Medicine for providing bacterial cultures, providing expert advice, answering any additional questions, and for providing DNA sequencing for our mutant colonies. For lots more information about this exciting Evolution in Action curriculum, please visit evolvingstem.org, www.evolvingstem.org.